If you find yourself only hearing God when you are asleep, every moment you can hear God is only when you are sleeping. It means God has tried to speak to you when you are awake. Your spirit is so noisy. There was one video I had done earlier before, and that video was talking about dreams and vision. And uh, there was one video I did earlier, and I was talking to the subscribers and the audience and my brothers and sisters about uh, Prophet Racine. I met them. And uh, I don't want to talk about things because I hear something here and there. No, I want to uh, talk about things so that it becomes real of what we think, of what we we see in the spirit. Not just thinking in the mind, but thinking in the spirit. We can hear God through live revelation. When a spirit of God stands up and starts speaking to you, I'm talking about in the middle of a service. The analysis I do on every video you see, online I have uploaded or anything I say live on this channel. 80% of them are not analysis. I had said this before. 80% of them are live revelations that I saw. Live, live revelation. It's only that there is a way I come out when I start talking about them. I don't want to say it's a prophetic utterance. Not when I am dreaming is a pure revelation of everything I put on this channel. That is why everything we started saying from beginning, everything has happened exactly as we started the first video in that sequence. So everything I speak here is not to make anybody happy or to try to attack anybody. So if you are coming here and you find these videos are not good for you, it's a direct indication this channel may as well not be a blessing to you. There are so many channels that can walk and talk your talk. So what we do here, we are not here to play uh, partisan. We are not here to say everything I say here is well researched in the spirit and in the physical. Just to do the introduction, I told you earlier before, <laughs> I run church and not just church. We also do deliverance. I mean, serious one. No joke deliverance. Serious deliverance. Serious, we, we do mass deliverance. Serious one. We just don't want to bring these videos to look like we are competing. If you are in SCORN and you support SCORN, make sure all the activities you are doing, God has spoken to you. God is not author of confusion. Don't clash. If you want to say T.B. Joshua is your spiritual father and everything you are doing is yours, we don't want to bring in our emotions into everything we are doing here. It is exactly what you need to do. Make sure you honor the source of your father's grace. I'm not talking to anybody now in particular. I'm talking to everybody. Now, another thing I want all of us to see is a... Uh, if God speaks to you, how does he speak? It determines what you, uh, you will say many times. Like Moses, he said, I speak to others in visions and in dreams and others, but my servant, I speak to him face to face. That means even in the revelation world, we are in levels. It's not the same level. There are people who God can speak to face to face, can speak to in, in instinct, can speak to in a vision when he is awake or she is awake. And there are people God can wait, 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 because their spirits are so noisy. If you find yourself only hearing God when you are asleep, every moment you can hear God is only when you are sleeping. It means God has try to speak to you when you are awake. Your spirit is so noisy that you cannot receive any God's signal when you are awake. Like now, I'm awake. Like now, my eyes are open. I'm not sleeping. God cannot speak to you if you are awake of this type. It means one thing. Your spirit is very noisy and you are not operating in the prophetic level. 
you're operating in the dream level. God can wait until you sleep. If everything you hear God speaking is not even in the word of God, it's only through dreams. My sister, my brother, you still a toddler in the spirit. And I'm not saying a toddler is a bad, is someone who cannot decode everything God is speaking to them about. Prophet T.B. Joshua is talking about this. Dreams are the lowest level of communication God speaks to his people. And most of these kind of people also, they don't like the Bible. They don't like the word of God. They don't like it. They only quote where they want. <laughs> they only be reading, that says the Lord, you will be blessed. That says the Lord. You see, Jonah had a problem with God when he was sent. He had a real catalog of how he was going to operate. He brought his own, his own to operate with. And that was the problem. God did not have a problem with Jonah. I mean, that was the problem of Jonah. When God sent him, he wanted God to send him his style. And then, he, in one way or another, I will talk about Job one of these coming time. But now, when it comes to discipline and character, any minister of the gospel must work in discipline and character. Gifts and talents are with or without repentance. I want you to get this. It's written, you can be a, a murderer and tomorrow you come back and you will be prophesying and we will hear, we will do deliverance and we will see you. But there is this part, if you can do all that and you lack discipline and character. This, what is discipline and character? When we talk more about the disciples in school, we are dealing with a lot of calling uh, this word disciples. And disciples definitely, the noun part of a disciple is discipleship. The way I present my, my, my videos and my analysis, this is where people th think of it is flesh. It's not flesh, it's, it's what we call presentation. I present what I have. And that was the major difference between Peter the Apostle and Paul the Apostle. That's why we are seeing a lot of books written by Paul and very few, if at all one, written by Peter. Do you know why? Peter saw a lot of revelation more than Paul, but he could not write them down. He could not, he didn't know how to present them. <laughs> we don't need to speak sparingly to make other people happy. And here I said, we are not doing it for anybody. Nobody sent me to do this and nobody sent me to do that. Some people came here and be saying, oh, you are doing for views. You are doing for this. We are doing for that. And I realized, no. Views, the topic we are dealing with is very unpopular. No one can do this topic I'm doing and expect views. There's no views we are doing this for. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's you people. You trigger so many things. So <laughs> you go there and correct yourself. You cannot run around your mother and your father and run around crisscrossing her path. Or let me talk uh, straight away. You cannot crisscross Pastor Evelyn's path and trying to say you are coming to tell us God spoke, God spoke. God is God of order. Yeah, how do you speak to your mother as if you are, you, you are speaking in one way or another? No, you must respect the source of your Greeks. Now that we repeat this thing, we are not doing this thing by mistakes. Mama Evelyn has a mantle. There's, that's a very big difference. You can dream, T.B. Joshua talking to you. You can dream this, this, and this. Every one of us, we have a space. I know disciples will go far here and there. It's a prophetic declaration. But there are rules and principles you will have to go by to make sure it goes to a place where it is identified for your way. I didn't want to concentrate on these matters because this channel, we were not really to do all these things. We were really working about spirituality, economic, and social matters. You see that context. And there was nothing to do with the score when this channel was starting. And uh, we just found ourselves drawn into it because of the encounters and everything that is happening in Squan. And God gave us a burden to come there. Timothy Profitable. And this is Blevoy TV. We handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters. See you next episode.